Hi, my name is Mia. I am a knitter and crocheter based in Scotland and today I thought I would talk about my kind of plans and intentions for the year. I sort of worried I was maybe a little bit late for this but Neenits, Amy at Neenits on YouTube has just uploaded hers in the beginning of February as well and that made me feel a little bit better. So I just kind of wanted to go through the patterns that I would like to knit this year. Um, I've tried to be kind of chill with my plans for 2024 because it's a really busy year for me um, and I just don't want to set goals for myself that I know are not attainable. So I have a few projects that I would like to get done and that's kind of it. I'm not going crazy. Um, but for that reason, I'm being a bit more specific with my goals. I know exactly what I want to do um, and when I'd like to kind of do it. So I'm just going to talk you through my plans for this year. So my first plan is one that I've actually started working towards already, which is that I want to make at least three pairs of socks this year. I would like to make one for myself, which is what I'm already working on. I would like to make a pair for my fiance, I think probably a DK pair, and I would like to make a lace pair. Just, I don't know if it's for me or someone else, but those are my kind of three must do's for 2024. So the socks that I have started working on already, I mentioned last time, I came into 2024 with this sock finished. It still counts. I don't care that I made it in 2023. It's part of this year's goals. Um, I'm going to try and get the second one finished this year. So I have one sock finished. These are the vanilla socks by the Crazy Sock Lady on double pointed needles. Um, and I'm using West Yorkshire Spinners Signature 4 Ply in the colour Wood Pigeon for these. So. I had this sock finished last time I filmed alongside up to about here on the second sock. Here is that second sock now. So you can see I've just finished the heel and I'm working on the foot now. Don't worry about the fact that one of the needles doesn't match. I have lost it. I don't know where it is. Um, but yeah, I've made some good progress on this. It's a leg, a sock pattern with a really long leg. So it does take a bit longer, but I do prefer the way that that looks. So I feel like I'm doing quite well. Um, I figure if I finish this towards the end of February, maybe early March, I'm giving myself a good couple of months per pair of socks and that's very realistic, I think. So I'm almost finished with these. I would love to make a DK pair uh, for my fiance. They have just started selling some DK weight sock yarn, like actual 75% wool, 25% nylon sock yarn in my local yarn shop. So I'd like to go and pick some of that up. Um, and I already have some plain, like, single colour tonal sock yarns in stash for... I'm hoping to make the Petal Drop socks by Florence Miller. So those are my specific sock knitting goals for 2024. I'm just going three pairs. Feels very doable. So that is my first knitting intention. So my second knitting goal for 2024 is one that I have also started working on already. So again, I feel like I'm being very realistic with myself. Um, none of these goals feel too outlandish for me, even if it's a busy year. Um, I feel like I should be able to get these done. The second goal I have is to make a cardigan. Never made a cardigan before. It will be my first time. I've made a couple of jumpers, but never a cardigan. So I have started already on the field day cardigan by Ozetta, And I feel like I've made a decent amount of projects progress. It's one of those things where when I actually hold it up, it looks like quite a lot of knitting, which is nice. Um, I have finished the front left and right and joined under the arms. As you can see, I've done a bit of knitting since then. And I've also done my first ever buttonhole. So that is also complete, which is nice. I also have buttons chosen out for this already, which I'm very excited about. I've got some wooden buttons that I think will be lovely. Um, but like I said, this is the Field Day Cardigan by Rosetta, and I am using Plymouth Yarn Sea Isle in the colour Sand Dollar. It is a chainette construction yarn, so I know it's quite likely to pill, um, but it's such a lovely yarn. It's so squishy and soft, and I think it's going to be super wearable because it's plant fibre and wool. Um, so to be honest, I'm not fussed if it pills quickly because it's just so lovely to work with that it's going to be worthwhile for me anyway. This has been on my to-do list for years at this point and I have never quite been brave enough or found the perfect yarn for it and I feel like this time I've kind of hit the nail on the head. Um, I'm loving how this is turning out. 
I know a lot of people don't love a ribbed button band on a cardigan, but I actually think this one looks lovely. Um, I have no qualms with this at all. I know a lot of people prefer the double knitted style because they think it looks neater, but I think this looks pretty lovely, to be honest. It's not the neatest in the world, but it doesn't have to be. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I love the construction of it. I'm learning a lot while making it. So this has been on my to-do list for ages and I'm hoping to get it done quite early on in 2024. So my third knitting goal is one that I haven't started, but I do have the yarn in stash for. And actually the yarn in my stash is the inspiration for this project. I want to make a knitted t-shirt. That's another thing I've never done before. Um, and the reason I want to make one is I have this yarn in my stash, which I just think is the most gorgeous yarn I have ever seen in my life. It's got so many stunning colours and speckles. It's just, it's absolutely beautiful. So this is a one of a kind yarn by Nervous Fibre. She's a Scotland based yarn seller, yarn dyer. Um, I think she's based in Glasgow and she posted three skeins of this in her story. I do have the other one, but it's balled up, not on a hank. Um, she posted the three skeins in her story and it was a need, not a want. Like I just could not pass them up because the colors are so stunning. But the problem is because the colours are so stunning, it's really hard to find a pattern that I think does them justice. So I have been scouring the internet since I bought this maybe a year and a half ago um, with no luck trying to find a pattern that I thought would work. I've seen a few that I love the pattern, but I just think it's not super compatible with such a variegated yarn. Like I've done some swatches with it and it really is like there's a lot of colours, as you can see, um, in this yarn. And it really needs to speak for itself, I think. So I struggled for a while until I saw the Tolsta Tea by Crea Bea. So Crea Bea is another Scottish knitter based here on YouTube. She has a lot more experience than me and has written a ton of stupidly pretty patterns. Um, but the Tolsta Tea was one that just seemed so versatile. Um, there are so many different options with it and she's put them all in the pattern, including a fingering weight or DK version. So in an ideal world, I'd love to be able to do a DK version with two strands held together, but I'm not entirely sure how that's going to work, if it might muddy up the colours or maybe I don't have enough yarn, I haven't checked. Um, but I would love to make that this summer and have it maybe for the summertime, probably not, but that feels like a good summer knitting project for me. Um, yeah, like I said, first t-shirt, so something new, but it's still a raglan, so it's not too scary. It should be quite a doable pattern for me, I think. I think I'm just going to go with the bog standard, you know, regular round neck, short sleeve t-shirt. I'm not going to add the eyelets or anything because I just want to let the yarn do its thing. Um, and so yeah, that is on my to-do list for 2024. I'm really excited about this project. Um, I will be swatching for it probably in the next couple of weeks to make sure that it will definitely work. But yeah, that is one of my to-do list projects for 2024. And the last knit project on my to-do list for this year is I want to try and make a men's sweater. Probably going to leave this to the end of the year, um, but I would love to make a sweater for my fiance. I never have before. I've made him a couple pairs of socks, but I've never been brave enough to make a garment for somebody else because I think if I make a mistake in a sweater that I have to wear, it's fine, I'm not worried, I made it and that's kind of enough for me to want to wear it, but I don't want to put all the effort into making something for somebody and then I make a mistake and they feel the need to wear it because I put all the effort in and it's just, if I make a mistake for me, it's fine, I don't want to make mistakes for other people, um, but I am still kind of new enough that that feels like a risk, so... Uh, I think I'm now feeling brave enough to give it a go and I have bought the yarn for it so if you are watching this is a spoiler uh, skip ahead or don't if you don't care but skip ahead. Um, I have bought some tin pier gint and I've got the sort of navy colour can you see the navy and then a kind of cream colour there you go um, so this is a fingering weight yarn that gets held together to make the Melange sweater by Petite Knit. So I think this is actually one of the colorways that she showed as an example. I'm pretty sure it was the junior size that she made in this color, or maybe it was just one that her husband didn't model in the photos. Um, 
but I just thought the navy would be a lovely colour on him and it's a bit more interesting to have the white mixed in with it than something you could buy in the shops. I just think it's one of those things that makes it look hand knit and handmade and extra special to me so I'm very excited about this project actually. Um, like I said I think I'm going to leave it to later in the year. This can be like my autumn winter project because there's nothing worse than knitting in the summer. You know when you have a jumper to make and you're knitting on it and it almost feels like you're sitting under a blanket. That experience in the summer is the worst. Uh, homes in Scotland are not built to be kept cool because they're made for the winter when it's freezing. So even if you're indoors you are not safe. Um, and it's a horrible experience to knit something warm in the summer. So this is going to be something I keep for later in the year. Um, but I'm really excited to cast it on. I'm hoping I get it finished in 2024. I know men's jumpers can take quite a while. So I don't want to leave it too late and underestimate how long it's going to take me. But again, this feels kind of doable. I'm hoping I can get this done this year. If not, it goes into 2025. Worst case scenario. But hopefully I can get this done for him by the end of the year. So that brings me to my last project of the year, which is the whole reason that I started making YouTube videos in the first place, which is my crochet temperature blanket. So obviously it's a temperature blanket for 2024. It has to be done this year. Um, so it is obviously in my goals. And you can see I've added a couple of extra squares since the last time I showed you. So first couple of weeks of January, and then the second couple, and we have the first week of February here as well. The second week is actually blocking as we speak. So um, I'm loving how it's turning out so far. I love the colours. I feel like it does exactly what I hoped it would in that it looks put together, but not like it looks random, but I know what it means, which I love. Um, so yeah, we've had a couple of colder days in Scotland again, hence we've got the zero degrees or below in Celsius, obviously. Um, and I think I've done the exact same for this week as well as this one, but it's going to be on the opposite side because I'll be starting a new row because I'm keeping these corners for the highest and most temperatures of the whole year. So again, I think that's going to help just sort of randomize it a little bit. Um, but I'm loving how this is working up so far. I'm actually finding it to be really doable. Like it's Sunday of the second week in February and I already have the square made and sewn like all my ends weaved in and it's blocking so as you can see I'm not struggling to keep up at all this is literally the first day I possibly could have done all of that and it is done um so it's really easy to keep up with for me even in a busy week it takes less than half an hour so I'm loving how attainable this project is and I feel like going for about five degrees increments my colors are changing in a really lovely way like it is just gradual every few weeks there's a wee bit of something different so I think that the colour choices are really lovely as well so I'm really pleased with that project and how it's turning out. So that is what I'm hoping to make in 2024. I think two garments, three accessories and a blanket feels pretty doable for an entire year. I know there are a lot of knitters who can do far more than that in a year um, but I'm just not one of them. I don't have that kind of time. I'm not that quick. Um, so maybe it looks a bit more like your goals for 2024, um, or maybe you're much faster than me. You can let me know what you're hoping to work on this year, but that is my goals. That feels quite attainable. I have a couple other things in mind for future projects, but I'm not going to put them in a sort of goals list because they are a, it'll be lovely if I manage it, but no pressure if I don't kind of project. These are the ones that I really would like to get done by the end of this year. So. Fingers are crossed I haven't been too over the top. I don't think I have. It feels very doable, um, especially because I'm halfway through a couple of them already. I feel like that's the way to go. So yeah, I'm really pleased with how my projects are shaping up for 2024. I'm really looking forward to knitting on all of these projects. I feel like there's a good mix of stuff that I'm comfortable with and things that are new to me. So. Yeah, I'm just, I'm looking forward to casting on all of these projects throughout the year. I feel like they work out quite seasonally as well, which is nice to have cardigan for the beginning of the year, t-shirt for the summer, sweater for later in the year. Yeah, I feel the more I talk about it, the more I'm like, yeah, I can do this. So yeah, please let me know in the comments what you're hoping to work on in 2024. If you've got anything that you're really looking forward to trying, if it's something new or just a project that you keep coming back to because you love it that much. Um, 
I always love seeing what other people do kind of at different times of the year so so yeah I've been really enjoying making these videos and keeping track of my progress and seeing these projects grow as the weeks go by I feel like every two weeks is a great amount of time for me to be able to see changes in the projects so yeah it's just another really fun way of keeping track of this hobby and enjoying it so thank you so much for watching and following along and I will see you again in a couple of weeks